this, so I guess we're done editing. Thank God. Yeah. So what are you doing this weekend? Oh, well, nothing much, you know, just skiing in the Alps. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, you know, it's chill, low-key, you know. Oh, I'm also going skydiving in Cabo. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Did you just hear that? Oh, yeah, they're always here. Anyways. Wait, what? Are we in a sitcom or something? Yeah. Anyways, what's your next class? Mine's in the J-Hall. Everyone's always like, how many H-Halls are there? But like, how many J-Halls are there? Like, I mean, that's the real question we need to be asking. Wait, you have a point. This is your favorite host, Cammy G. And David G. And as always, we have an amazing episode for you guys today. Camera rolling, action. Hey, appreciate it, Mr. B. Hey. Camera rolling, and action. Good morning, Centennial team and staff. My name is Mr. Gilbo, and I'm the new assistant principal here at Centennial. I am ultra excited to be here. Thank you so far to all the warm welcomes, the smiling faces, and the handshakes that have greeted me here on my first couple of days. Um, I want my time at Centennial here to be fruitful. I want to build relationships. Um, I want to have fun. Um, I want to see a lot of learning take place and I want to be a part of that learning process too. Um, this is my 13th year in education. I've served time as a teacher um, teaching history and English. I used to live in California and also Louisiana where I served as a teacher and also assistant principal there. Thank you once again for the warm welcome and I'm really excited to be able to get to know everybody here at Centennial. Thanks. Setti and I am in 12th grade. My name is Lily Engel and I'm in 11th grade. My name is Riley, I'm a senior. Avery Wallace, I'm in 11th grade. My name is Lily Owings and I am a senior. My name is Saeed and I'm in 10th grade. My favorite memory from Centennial Volleyball was our first home game against Mount Vernon last year. It was just really fun, everyone was really hyped. Freshman year we were playing and a ball rolled onto the court and our coach ran to get it and the hitter came up and hit her right in the head. One of our traditions is like for all of our home games, we sing the national anthem like really loud in the locker room between games. The traditions that we have on the bus rides. The ride home from the bus when we sing year 3000. My goal for this season is to definitely make it to playoffs and stay and to really bond as a team and make it. Play for each other. Trust each other. Qualify for region. Win as many games as we can and hopefully make it to playoffs. Win, literally just win. I think for the team to make playoffs, we have to really trust each other and become one. We really need to like lock in. Hard work during practice. Focus and trust like our training. Give it our all and all want it. Trust that we're good enough to, like we are good enough, but we don't believe it. One word I would use to describe our experience on the Centennial Volleyball team would definitely be friendship. 
collaborative. Fun. Sisters. Family. Chaotic, like in the best way possible. Centennial can support the team by coming to our game. Come to the game. Home and away. Home games, we have a lot more this year than usual. Being super hype. Hype and lit and crunk. All in the stands and cheering for every single point we make. Next up, I'm going to introduce our law teacher, Ms. Phillips. My name is Ms. Phillips. Um, I teach law and justice here. Uh, this is my second year at Centennial, second year teaching in general. I love that Centennial has diversity uh, within the students, um, that students are more than willing to help each other out. I love the teachers here, from veterans to new teachers. Some songs in my playlist. Um, Obviously, I have Drake, um, some J. Cole. Uh, we can switch it up for, with some Taylor Swift, um, some SZA. Um, let's see, and some old school. So just, you know, a little variety here and there. Who or what inspired me to become a teacher? My sister, uh, she's been teaching for about 13 years. She's been nominated four times for Teacher of the Year, and she finally got Teacher of the Year last year, so she's been my biggest inspiration. My favorite thing to do on the weekend is to go brunching and just trying new restaurants with my friends and my family. Hey, Barksdale. You have your handsome devil with your chiseled jaw and your beard and your tattoos. Hey, speaking of uh, handsome, I uh, picked up a fish the other day. He had a bow tie on. He's, he was real sophisticated. What do you call a cow and two ducks? Milk and quackers. People keep on making fun of me because I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. Let me tell you some full secrecy here. My wife keeps on getting so angry because I have no sense of direction. So I packed up and write. Rest in peace to boiling water. You will be missed. Hey, hey, Barksdale, can, can we hang out more, please? <laughs> Travis Scott's new album is definitely overrated. There's only a couple of good songs on there. The rest are eh. Uh, Astral World's definitely way better than it. I think Travis Scott's new album is overrated because I don't really listen to his music and I don't like him that much. Travis Scott's new album, um, is Travis Scott the guy that works at Starbucks? He's overrated because he can't get my latte right. Uh, I think Travis Scott's new album is overrated because I don't listen to Travis Scott. College football is definitely overrated. I hate football. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just don't like it. You have to say college football is. College football is underrated. I'm from a northern school, Syracuse, and our football program isn't as great. Uh, college football is underrated because I love college football. Roll Tide. College football, definitely underrated. Uh, I think it's better than the NFL. The energy in the stadium is way different and it's better underrated because he's a really good football player and he just recently won the World Cup. Underrated because he's the best player in the world. Messi is underrated. He's the goal better than Ronaldo so there's that. Overrated. Chipotle is overrated because it's just too expensive for the things that they give you. So Chipotle in my opinion I think it's well rated because even though I don't like, I don't eat it that much, uh, people say it's good. Underrated, it's just really good food. I love their guacamole and the rice is just really fresh as well with their um, other vegetables and food. It's just really nice. Chipotle is honestly overrated. You have most right there and most is just as good if not better than Chipotle, so Chipotle is overrated. I don't really know, I haven't really had it, but I'm guessing underrated because I've heard it's pretty good 
and I want to like, if I do go there, I'll probably get like a burrito bowl or something. Next up, I'm going to introduce to you guys an amazing set. What happened? I just run 3.1 miles. Next up, we have Cross Country. My name is Campbell Corley. My name is Katie Fisher. My name is Eli Marks. My name is Elise Bolden, and I am a senior, and I've been doing cross country for four years. My favorite thing about cross country is really the whole team, the whole social aspect of it. My favorite thing about cross country is definitely the team um, and just how encouraging they are, and it's almost like a family, and it's like just really fun. The thing Centennial could do to support the team is really kind of acknowledge them. People can just come out to more meets and stuff. I mean, it's far sometimes, but like if it's in a closer area, maybe people can just come out and support. My biggest piece of advice for newer members would be really focus on injury prevention. And it's a really challenging sport. One of the most challenging sports, really respect it. I think we're doing pretty good. We have a range of skill sets. So far, we haven't really placed that high in the meets that we've done, but I think we're all improving. It's been a good start to the season. We've had some injuries so far, but it's, the team morale is high, and I think we're going to have a good rest of the season with the meets. What I like about cross country is like the thought of being able to do something at the end of the day every day. My favorite thing about cross country is the team, the people on it are very welcoming and open to new members. Some advice that I have for new members is just to join and go all in. There's a lot of fun things that Cross Country offers and it's just a great program. And so just come and show up and do hard work. Hi guys, I'm here with... Coach Birdsong. And he teaches... Chemistry. All right, and today we're gonna to be doing an experiment. Can you tell us about what this is? Yeah, so today I'm going to demonstrate a combustion reaction for you guys. And what we need first is some methane gas. And in order to capture this methane gas, we are just gonna fill it up using some water and dish soap to capture the gas. That should be plenty. And to protect myself, I am going to put my hand in water and dish soap because water and dish soap is super protective, obviously. Now, I will be able to pick up my gaseous bubbles and because of the plethora of oxygen molecules in the air, I am now able to, please back away, Ava, <laughs> set my gaseous bubbles on fire and witness a combustion reaction. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that was our science experiment for the week. Thank you, Mr. Birdsong. Thank you for having me, Ava. And you're watching The Bobs. Good morning, Knights. Returning again for week three, getting you a look into the near future. This is your Sun 10 weekly weather update, brought to you again by your new favorite news anchors, K and K. This Saturday is going to be sunny again, with a high of 84 and a low of 65, so hopefully we won't have any more rain this week. This Sunday is also going to be sunny with a high of 88 and a low of 66. Did you hear about that hurricane that's going to like totally hammer Florida? Happens every other week. Anyways, let's go over to Rory with the weather for Friday. Hey y'all, today's weather is looking pretty cloudy with the highs being 81 and the lowest 68. But I mean, come on, have you seen this week's weather? There's so many storms lately. I'm pretty sure it's because of that hurricane going on. But I mean, it literally happens so much we can't even count it now. Also, we're getting pretty close to autumn season, so a bunch of colds and a lot of allergies happening, including to me. So good luck to anyone else who has it as well. But happy Friday, y'all. Thank you, Rory. And that's it for your Sun 10 weekly weather update this week. Enjoy your long weekend, and we'll see you maybe next week. Go Knights! Go Knights. Checkmate. Oh, you're so mad. You are so mad. <sighs> Did he leave? Yeah. Oh, what happened? He won. I left for two seconds. Oh, hey. What? Oh. Okay. You can't take my fish.
What's up, Centennial? This is what I've been reading. So recently I read Old Man and the Sea for about the fourth time, I believe. And it's a novella by Ernest Hemingway. Some of the themes in Old Man and the Sea are dignity, man versus nature, and perseverance. It's interesting to read something at different times of your life because it will have different meaning for you. One of my favorite quotes from the book is, only I have no luck anymore, but who knows? Every day is a new day. It's such a great message of perseverance. Check out Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Hey guys, it's Diana and Valeria, and we're your new man on the street. <laughs> All right, who's, who are we gonna go with? Puss laugh. I don't know, telling him a joke or something. Thank you, Queen. Hey guys, Jerry Springer or Dr. Phil? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Jerry Springer or Dr. Phil? Uh, Dr. Phil has the same birthday as me. Happy birthday! Shout out, it's my birthday today, and it's Dr. Phil's birthday. Let's go, Dr. Phil. September 1st, best birthday round. <laughs> okay, what makes an octopus laugh? An octopus laugh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> what? Would you rather meet Dr. Phil or Jerry Springs? Dr. Phil. Jerry Springer. Why? What makes an octopus laugh? Oh, no. Huh? What? Oh, you said, I don't know. Tentacles. Uh. Me? Dr. Phil? Wait, no. no. Oh, Why? Jerry Springer. Jerry, Jerry Springer. Yeah, he'd be like, Jerry Springer. you. All right. No, I'm not even talking <laughs> about that show. I'll All talk right, about please. the one. Octopus laugh. I don't know. Tentacles. Ha ha ha. Would you rather meet Dr. Phil or Jerry Springer? Who's Dr. Phillip? <laughs> <laughs> what makes an octopus laugh? Jerry Springer. Dr. Phil or Jerry Springer? Jerry. Jerry. Hey. Maybe like an older joke book in another one. I thought they were identical. I'm That's sorry, nice. but it's it's tentacles. Tentacles what? <laughs> it makes an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Centennial? I'm Mr. Beekner. Your word of the week is intangible, unable to be touched or grasped, not having physical presence. Try using that in a sentence this week. Hey, Douglas, how you doing? Oh, dude, did you see the football team lost hard last week? Like, what was it, 71 to 7? It was, it was awful. It was like a rampage out there. The other team dominated us. It was crazy. Well, you see, the thing is, Douglas, that was just one game. One game does not define them. And most importantly, the team has an intangible. The intangible is their heart. While they may be down physically and spiritually, they're really good. They all keep a positive attitude and know that there can be a comeback. You know what, man? Yeah, you're right. It doesn't define them, just one game. And I can definitely say that I'll be rooting for them at the next one to win. What does kindness mean to you? It's a very hard question. Put to the test. I think it means going above and beyond to make other people feel good about themselves or to try to make their day in some special way by doing a little extra. What kindness means to me is going out your way for others, making them happy, even if they're on their off days, 
be the reason that elders smile, be the reason that they have a good attitude and good mindset. Kindness means showing up for people even if they can't show up for you. Welcome back Centennial. I'm Brody Voss. And I'm Mason Capella. And you're, and you're watching, watching CSPN. CSPN. <laughs> <laughs> no, did we get Your Centennial softball team won their game on Tuesday 3-0. Next week, they play away games on Tuesday and Wednesday and a home game on Thursday. Favorite, Favorite. Powerade or Gatorade flavor? Oh. Dark blue, like the dark Definitely, blue? Definitely, no. Either like the dark blue or the light blue. Glacier Freeze kind of hits. No, but let me put y'all on to Fast Twitch Gatorade. Sure. Just trust. I'll, that's all I have to say. Nobody's on it yet. I'm the first on it. Oh, jeez. Um, water? <laughs> Dive in a blue one. Blue one all the way. Powerade and grape. Uh, the blue Gatorade. <laughs> honey buns. Honey buns are the best gas station snack of all time. Favorite snack food is actually Taco Supreme Seeds. Your Centennial Volleyball team had two games on Tuesday. They won one and lost one. Next week, they have a game at home on Tuesday and a doubleheader at home on Thursday. That's it for this week's Centennial. Disfruten su largo fin de semana. And we see you guys next week. Go, Go Knights! Knights.